Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of Explode Your Expert Biz Show. I'm here today with the one and only Lenka Lutonska. How are you doing Lenka? I'm very well, thank you Simon. Fantastic Lenka. Uh, today we are going to be talking about uh, the way you run your business, uh, how were you able to make it so successful because I remember uh, was that from uh, the big vi- the beginning from P- of Perry 10k and Katya kept telling me you need to talk to Lenka, you need to talk to Lenka. She's doing awesome. She's brilliant at running her business. <laughs> you guys need to connect and somehow we touch base but we didn't manage to connect and then I came to one of your, well, it's at your latest event that you did in London. And that was magical. It was beautiful. I have to say, it was exquisite. The location, the speakers that were there, the women that you had in the room, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Simon. I must say, I feel truly blessed. Truly, truly blessed. So anything I can share with you that will help your gorgeous listeners, Let's do uh, absolutely, it. <laughs> absolutely. And then, uh, so, and then we're going to talk in particular about uh, something which is very unique, which is the energetic selling method. And mm-hmm. I never heard about it. And mm. I'm really excited to dig deep into how this method works because everything that is selling, I'm got like, yeah, I love selling. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm always looking to learn new ways. I'm, so I'm, I'm really going to uh, take every single bit of information I can from you today. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Fantastic. Uh, now, before we get started, uh, can you tell us a bit more about how did you get started you as a uh, as an expert in, in your business and how do you, uh, where did you start? Where do you come from? Sure. Well, I'm not a newbie as such. I've been in a business for exactly 10 years, just over 10 years. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, the, the way I started, I became really accidental entrepreneur. What I want, always wanted to do is uh, call me naive, change the world. I knew I wanted to work with people in some way. I just wasn't sure how. Mm -hmm. Uh, So I studied for years, you know, uh, psychotherapy and counseling and hypnotherapy was exploring the options, learning as much as I could about the human mind, about how we people work. And uh, as a as a part of that, and I came across uh, NLP or neuro linguistic programming, and uh, that truly grabbed my heart uh, so much so that uh, when I finished the first uh, part of the training, I thought that's it, you know, forget work. Uh, I'm selling my house, I'm selling my car, and I'm going to get myself trained to the highest level, which I did the same year, and uh, to be able to train others in, you know, run accredited coaching and LP yes. courses. So I finished that, and there I was, you know, with no job, thinking I'm going to change the world, this is how. So I became very much uh, accidental entrepreneur because very quickly I realized that, okay, having a website and a passion for something and a skill is Actually, not enough. Where are the clients? So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's how I started. And of course, you know, since then, uh, my business grew and it evolved. In, a, in, in the process of that, I managed to lose my business altogether at one point, uh, which sent me on another, if you like, spiritual journey mm-hmm. um, where I had to d- rediscover my value as a human being rather than, you know, oh, okay, I have a successful business. I don't have it anymore. So, who am I now? Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, uh, from that, it came my business number two uh, and online coaching and training business, which I started, it will be now three years ago. Exactly. It's coming up to May. It will be three years ago. So, um, and yeah, so nowadays, uh, it, yes, I am truly blessed because since I decided to go online and uh, good my shit together <laughs> I say gently, you know. <laughs> is that yeah <laughs> yeah things started to work and uh, my business is growing my clients are doing incredibly well it's it's fabulous so so yes that's how i got started out of this i want to change the world <laughs> so, what i what i want to know is uh, what's um, so, so what are the things that uh, you were doing before in your business that didn't work that you were saying actually if i were to go back i would not do this because maybe it was not working or it was not effective uh, what were a few things that didn't okay. work i tell you uh, so this is a great question 
when I was rebuilding my business, this is number two, and yes. even before I went online, just before I went online, I had a long period of time that I was, I felt like I'm doing all the right things as entrepreneurs should do. Mm-hmm. You know, I used to attend very many networking events mm-hmm. and I would seek out speaking opportunities. Uh, and I would, I would, I felt like I'm doing all the right things, but things are not working. I would get a client here and there and, you know, just, mm, I knew this is nothing, you know, there's so much more in me. And then one day I, I experienced such an embarrassing moment and I'm still embarrassed about it when I talk about it, but here it is. So it was almost two years after I lost the first business and me trying to rebuild mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. the business, right? And um, at the time, you know, I, I, was, uh, I dropped my kids to school. Uh, and uh, on the way back, I was going to um, uh, get a, a dinner, you know, at the local Sainsbury supermarket. So I went to cash machine, take a cash out, and I'm, lo- and I'm looking at my bank, account, bank balance, £7.30. And, I, and I'm looking at it, no way. So here I was. Now, at this point, I was really years in business. I mm-hmm. had a successful business behind me. I was working every day like a bloody nutter, mm-hmm. or that's what I felt. And here I am, not being able to afford a family dinner. And I was so ashamed, so embarrassed. But what I did... Uh, immediately I went home and I know something is going to change. And you know what I did? I picked up the phone and for a whole day I called every bloody networking contact I acquired over the, you know, the last X amount of months. People I spoke to, people that even vaguely expressed the interest in what I've got to mm-hmm. offer. So by the end of the day, I sold just below uh, 2,000 pounds, you know, of my of my services. So you know, in other words, this is the moment when I committed. This is the moment when I committed. Because before I would tell myself, well, I don't want to follow up. You know, it's if if somebody wants to work with me, they'll they'll approach me. Uh, I don't want to be pushy or salesy. Uh, Yeah, I'll share my expertise, but really sell like really follow up. No, it wasn't comfortable. So if I had to go back, I would tell myself, woman, get real. If you want to do business properly, you've got a market, you've got to sell. And it's really, it's only a small percentage of people that just reach out to you. You've got to give them, got to give them the little nudge. I, I call it open the door, mm-hmm. give that invitation. So that's certainly one of the things I would change because that immediately made a huge difference. Definitely. <laughs> I, can, I, can, I can understand where you're coming from. Um, I think that w- when we started, we all think, hey, uh, people are going to work with me just because I have a business. And actually, you got to pick up the phone and call and follow up. Yeah. And uh, I mean, uh, I, I'm so passionate about this part that uh, I cannot even start. So I'm, I'm glad that, that uh, you know, you had, uh, I think as everyone, like myself, we had all this moment with realization. For, for, I got to start selling now. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not going to eat. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, that's really crucial. And okay, talking about uh, another mistake. Is there another mistake that you were doing before uh, while you were rebuilding the business mm-hmm. that you were thinking, I wouldn't, or if not, maybe a mistake, maybe it could be a strategy that you were using and you were saying, mm-hmm. I actually wasted time doing that. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Couple come to my mind. First, um, which is kind of natural because I was trying to find myself again. So it was a little bit of exploration period, but I wasn't sure where do I put myself. So I tried to, uh, you know, I went to one networking event and talked about, I can help you with um, changing personally. Another networking event I was talking about, uh, training corporates because in my previous business I had wide experience, right? right. So I, it was like I was trying to be everything to everyone, mm-hmm. and it never works. So this is why it's a it's easiest way to start business or go through that first curve of you know infancy period of business into the rapid growth or expansion period is to bloody focus. So find that client that you want to help 
and uh, solve their one problem that they have. Yes. And I didn't do that initially. I really did not. So uh, that, if you like, I, I, I could say slowed me down, mm -hmm. you know, so that uh, that's it's obvious. The bigger one, though, for me was that I didn't allow myself to be fully me in my business. And what do I mean by that? Because I wanted to uh, be taken seriously, quote unquote, and I, it was important to me that I came across as professional yeah. and knowledgeable. Uh, so I would never dare to say anything about spirituality or energy or love of attraction. All the while, I've read hundreds of books on quantum physics and like everything because it's my love and passion. Yeah. But I would never talk about it. I wouldn't allow myself to include it in my business because, uh, you know, I want to be taken seriously. So I remember I had one a little like defining moment and I was still asking myself, so what's my purpose here? Surely this is mm -hmm. not the end of the road. It, this is just the beginning. So um, who am I, who am I here meant to serve? And then I asked myself, well, if I, and excuse my language, I know sometimes I swear, but if I didn't give a shit what other people think about me, mm -hmm. what would I want to do? And how do I, would I do that? And literally in the millisecond, I'm like, bang, 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 bang. I knew my branding. I knew my message. And I knew that, my way to grow, my way to contribute is to be full me. So I started to talk about, and this was my immediately from there, I launched my first, uh, if you like, program. Uh, it was at the time something along the lines, the Abundance Mastermind. And mm -hmm. I filled it up in a space of two, two weeks. It was effortless right. because it was full me. Yes. You see, yes. so not just bringing the strategy side and, you know, but also and, and uh, psychology side, but bringing into it, uh, the spiritual side that which is also me so i think that sometimes we have this um, when things get it's not about things being easy but when things get too difficult and you're just banging your head against the wall there might be something missing and uh, totally. and then as soon as you find that something missing then it's like wow now it's so easy <laughs> I, yes. or easier than it was before you still got to do the sales you still got to do the follow up to the marketing but then people are actually responding and they want it rather than banging your head and getting against the wall and praying for people to say, please sign up with me yes. because I got to pay my food bill tonight. So, <laughs> so thank you for sharing. Totally, totally. Yes. And I think it's because, I mean, in my words, you know, I often share with my clients at any moment in a business, whether we like it or not, we have two modes of being. At, at work or two parts of mind, if you like. One of them is uh, our programmed mind. Sometimes I call it ego or some of us call it ego. Some of us call it even comfort zone, everything that we're used to. Mm. The, there, there is, however, this peculiar larger mind that we potential, if you like, that we cannot see it or touch it with our hands, mm. but we cannot say it doesn't exist because we can sense it. We certainly know that which we could be. So it's like our higher mind, our, uh, our uh, if you like, potential that is always whispering to us, mm -hmm. do this, do that, allow. And that is all of us. So yes. the, anytime we ask ourselves, okay, this is not working, what is, how can I be full, fuller myself? Uh, as long as we're willing to get disconnected from ease, because it's usually not yeah. easy. Yeah. Right, you know, so then then things start to flow much better because we step fully into who we really are, you know, or into our bigger self. That's how Absolutely. I see it. Yes. Thank you, thank you for sharing. Now, what I want to know is, what are you doing right now that is working really well in your business? What are the things that, if you lift the veil behind uh -huh. Lenka's business, yes, what what is working well for you? Sure. So uh, funny, I just wrote an article uh, yesterday. Um, so I, since I came online, my business um, started to go really well. And very quickly, I reached my first six figures. Mm -hmm. And um, I also was pregnant with, with the, the baby number three. So I thought, right, now I'm fully booked with my high-end clients. I really earned this because, you know, 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've been working my ass off for uh, this. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, I, I'm about to have a baby. If I want to spend more time with the baby and you know with my family and grow my business, I have to change something. And I tell you a single thing that helped me the most. And this is where actually the energetic selling method was born. I, instead of continuing uh, taking on -on one-on-one clients, I introduced uh, a group mastermind, intimate group mastermind clients at the same fee, which for me at the time was, I had to overcome a bit of of BS in my mind, right? Like why would people pay five figures for a group program where that's what they pay me for my one-to-one, uh, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But one, uh, once I got over it and 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 uh, realized that you know what I love intimate groups, uh, they're gonna get they still get a little bit of one-to-one. They'll get uh, same information because you repeat yourself, don't you? Yeah, Oftentimes, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? So anyway, I launched my first mastermind, and uh, so it was my first high-level mastermind, a five-figure mm-hmm. mastermind. And um, that made a huge difference because not only I leveraged my time, big style, uh, the clients continued to get extraordinary results. They were able to grow their businesses and benefit from exactly the same way as they would if they worked with me on a one-to-one basis with added benefit of, of intimate high-end community. Yes. So, but it took gas. It took gas. So that's you know uh, definitely one of the things Uh, that helped me what did you do for everyone who is uh, listening right now that is saying oh my god a six-figure group program no a five-figure group program no way i don't know it's too much or what what did you do for yourself to to overcome it yes to overcome this kind of struggle mm -hmm, mm -hmm. happily so and this is really we're going into into what you ask about, I've never heard of energetic selling method. And the reason why you haven't heard of it, because I just kind of invented the word for it, right? <laughs> but this is the, if you like, the process. And I see it as a four quadrants that need to be worked on almost simultaneously to be able to right. make this leap. Yes. So one doesn't work without the other. So first and foremost, it's about obviously creating a fabulous, um, uh, offer, with, you know, with, it's a group program, let's say, that uh, delivers at least ten times more value than you than you're asking for. Mm-hmm. So, so uh, it's n- not about oh, let me just create something for ten grand or twenty grand for the sake of creating something for ten, twenty grand. It's about okay, how am I going to give this client, each client, ten ten times or more what they pay for. Uh, so in my program, I know, so in my mastermind, what I help my clients to do is to really scale their businesses to multiple six figures and beyond. Mm-hmm. Yes. So just by doing, you know, that obviously if they're going to implement it, they're, they're going to get their, their return on investment, right? Absolutely. But it, yes. But it's not always the case, especially in some different uh, coaching niches, you know, if mm-hmm. you, working in relation with you know relationship or weight loss or I don't know what so there is not always measurable that return on investment so uh, we need to look at really you know what's the what's the use value not necessarily cash value what is the use value of this so for for people that are let's say in relationship um, that are really hungry and to to be loved because they don't have it 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 hurts, you know. We each have a, some t- type of problem yeah. that we will do anything, anything, to to really um, to really solve that problem, right? Mm-hmm. So, so, so it, that it's that, you know. How am I going to give them return on investment through how I structure the program, uh, what I include, but also about the the end result? So that's the first thing. We need to create a fabulous, fabulous offer. Yes, doesn't have to be really time consuming because some clients will say, all right, then, well, for then 10 grand, I'm going to give them a 48 session in a year. You know? So it's not. I'm going to coach you every day. <laughs> I'm going right. to give you an hour call every day. That's right. It's not about that. It's about giving them what they need yeah. to get results that they desire. Yes. Um, but nonetheless, it needs to be quality. It needs to be there. So, and in that way, what, what we're doing also, we really are allowing ourselves to serve at our highest level. Mm-hmm. Because, um, you know, 
um, we've got this now I primarily work with women Simone but maybe it's for gentlemen as well I find that we chronically undervalue our services I, and I did that as well. I used to do that as well. You know, you're giving something that is going to freaking change someone's life. You're giving all your energy into mm-hmm. it. You know, you, you, you carry your clients on your mind all the time because you care about them, right? Absolutely. Yes. So, and, uh, and then, uh, um, however, what happens when we don't put enough value on that service, what if it's the, the, the fee is very much about energy exchange. Mm-hmm. So I always say the part of it is my fee are set to guarantee that you absolutely will follow the process. Mm-hmm. Because believe me, Simon, when the ladies sign up for my mastermind, they'll come on that call and they're like freaking sponges. They hang <laughs> on every word and they're implanted. They're it's brilliant. like I paid 10, 20 grand for this. Yeah. I better <laughs> I, I better, better soak yes. every single inch that absolutely. I can. Yeah, absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. And that's part of the, you know, so you you really <laughs> are, are you gonna get better results? Of course. Of course, so it's a so it's a win for everyone. So we allow ourselves to serve on on a new level. So that was that. Uh, that was that. Secondly, as part of it, I had to uh, sort out any money issue I had. In other words, we've got to really open ourselves to receive mm-hmm. that amount of money. So this is the whole area uh, of you know our relationship with money. So we are not being controlled by it, but rather control it Mm -hmm. and uh, um, so inevitably that you know we 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 are in completely aligned with uh, stating what that fee is and easily receiving payment in full yes yes so that is the second quadrant Um, and then now this one is interesting this might be perhaps maybe a little new to your audience well partially but then it's about uh, calling in uh, the next those next level clients to experience, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so partially it's about marketing. So we've got to we've got to know who that person really is, yes. where they are at their journey, what is their oh shit point, and talk to them, communicate to them. Um, so that's partially that. But also what I find is that. Um, Another important part of that is that we've, we've got to be a mirror image of our next level client, which is sometimes not that easy because I don't know if you read, I, I hear this all the time uh, in my tribe. Well, I've got a, uh, clients, they always tell me I've got to think about it, I've got to think about it, I've got to think about it, I've got to think about it. But then when I question them a little more, uh, they tell me that they do everything last minute or they they big decisions, they postpone big decisions. Mm-hmm. So they're doing it. Therefore, of course, it's coming back at them in the business. Absolutely. Right? Yes. You yes. know, I truly believe that our business is simply an, a mirror of what is happening inside of, of people yes. that we are. So this is the harder part to actually uh, have a look is where do, do I not mirror my ideal high-end client? Mm-hmm. So if I expect my clients to pay in full do i pay in full if i expect my clients to invest in themselves that much money to get extraordinary results do i honor myself enough so when it's something important to me in a business that i actually uh, am willing to bet on myself Mm -hmm. and invest that much money in something so it's all this sort of thing we've got to be match to it so it's personal development i guess Absolutely. So, yeah, that's the third one. And, the, and then the fourth one is, um, four area is uh, literally about just being able to sell from a uh, place of power, mm-hmm. place of power. So being able to lovingly take uh, the clients all the way from, I'm interested in what you have, to, okay, let's do this. Um, and if I could just give one advice there, which even I'm still practicing and I still mm-hmm. get it wrong sometimes. But I find that there are two things that bring the sales conversions over the roof. Mm-hmm. And that's number one, following the intuition. So you feel whether you're right match with a client or not. If yes. not, what the hell? We all paid for it, right? When we don't uh... work. 
and uh, so follow the intuition or also when you sometimes you know it's the right thing to say something so you say it rather than thinking ah I'm not gonna say it because it may come across this way or that that way so following intuition is a big one and the second one being 100 percent honest yes. honestly I find that is the best sales tool on a planet does it help uh, it helps massively I mean we asked the audience does it help guys <laughs> like I'm hearing yes. I'm hearing a lot of yeses. So definitely helps. I love the four quadrants. It make it very simple um, to understand. It make it easy to understand. And in particular, talking about following your intuition and your gut instinct. In fact, I remember I was uh, closing one of our lifetime members. And our lifetime membership is £10,000 for a group promo that we run. And uh, I remember I, say, I spent time with him. And he was saying, oh, you know, I don't have the money. Oh, I need to speak to my wife. Uh, oh, I need to do this. I said, listen, you're going to work with us, whether mm -hmm. you like it or not. <laughs> like, I can just feel it. So you can mm -hmm. tell me no right now, but you're going to say yes somehow. So it was like, oh, me, mom, I don't know. So sign the form and then we'll figure it out. So mm -hmm. <laughs> he signed the form and then uh, we had a chat with his wife. Mm -hmm. Now, because that was the conversation. So actually, her, his wife ended up joining too mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I remember, so, and it was something within me that was saying, is the right fit. I'm not going yes. to let this person go because yes. I, I know we're just meant to work together. Yes, and you just said it. They're meant to work together. So this yeah. is exactly it. Thank you for saying that. This is exactly it. Because and how often we, we it's so much easier yes. not to listen to intuition, oh. right? Listen to our ego instead. Absolutely. I don't want to come across this way or that way. Absolutely. Uh, I don't want to follow up 10 times because yeah. uh, people think I'm annoying and pushy. <laughs> and then if they think that, then they will say, you're annoying and pushy and you're annoying. Please stop following up. And, and then I'll stop following up. Exactly. <laughs> and this is another thing. In sales, you always, as you as you take your clients for this beautiful, you know, sell, it's an exploration, right? The sales yes. conversation, right? So you, of course, calibrate. Mm -hmm. you calibrate and you give ask them many questions does it make sense shall i continue they can at any point opt out mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, exactly. it's so at any point they can say actually no this is definitely not for me right so but if, if we don't have you know so if they're interested it's our duty to help them to guide them to make the right decision whether it's yes or no but make the right decision for them i that's how i see it and also when you talked about honesty, I think that uh, honesty is crucial when you're selling mm -hmm. in part because uh, people will honor you for that. If, oh, yeah. uh, if you feel honestly that you're saying, no, actually, I don't, I don't think you're the right fit or yes. I don't think this will benefit you or I don't think we're going to enjoy working together or you know that uh, it might be too much of a stretch for them financially and you know that actually joining the program can be even put them in a worse situation when they started because they will have no other means to grow their business. You know, I remember sometimes I turn down people and say, no, actually, right now, you're not fit for this. Just join this other one or mm -hmm. don't join me at all. And they came back year after and said, I appreciated that moment. Now I'm ready. And then mm -hmm. decided to come back. So did you ever have any experience when you turned down someone and then they came back? Or, oh, or absolutely. Played? Absolutely. It always works out. They'll, as I said, they'll respect you more for it. Um, and when we talk about honesty, there is something uh, other in there as well. Uh, I recall a client not so long ago. And uh, when, we, when I talked to her, it came obvious to me that the way she ran her sales conversations is from the place of proving herself. As I've got to prove that I'm a great coach here. If they like me, they're going to hire me. Ah, it's never going to work like that because the client feels it like, you know, you're, yeah. you're proving yourself. So when we shifted uh, her saying, you, you're, you're not here to prove anything to anyone. You're here to make an impact. So you follow your intuition. You're excellent coach. So you're going to do the same during the self-conversation. You're going to be honest with, with them. And... The, the, the her, she literally got booked fully booked with her and clients like so quickly because she came on each call and when she felt like 
client is making them so small or they're doing this in, you know, in their lives, she's, she would say, let me tell you, it's my duty to tell you, mm-hmm. you're making yourself, you, you, if you continue like this, this is what's going to happen. Do you, she, she would blatantly tell them how they're hurting themselves by staying where they are. Like, so it complete, completely changed dynamic. And clients were thanking her for it, not only thanking her for it, they were signing up for yeah. her coaching because that's selling from place of power and honesty. And that's what people are looking for, right? That's why yeah. they sign up with a coach. Because yes. they are looking for someone who is a leader, who can tell leader. them, who can yes. call yes. them on their bullshit, who can tell yes. them where um, where they're going right, where they're going wrong, who can, uh, who can be strong. That's mm-hmm. what they're looking for. Someone who can say, can you handle me? Yes, absolutely. And, yes. and if you give up and you don't care enough by not following up or by not being resilient during that conversation, then the message that you're sending is, I don't care enough about you or I cannot handle you. Yeah, yeah. I care more, uh, I care more about my ego. Ex- thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. And that's, uh, that's why selling in this way is very powerful. I'm, uh, I'm really, I, I absolutely loved every single minute of this interview because there is a, a lot to learn from your experiences in business, from the way you run your business, also from, uh, from the challenges that you had uh, while stepping into this position of power and leadership and um, that, uh, I mean, I saw the tip of the iceberg, which was the event that you were running. Was that at the Waldorf? Um, Waldorf Astoria, Waldorf, yes. Wald- it was beautiful. That's this gorgeous venue. And the event was one of the most beautiful events I've ever seen, even if Thank I was you. there for an afternoon. Um, it was uh, it was brilliant. So that shows uh, that what you do works. That shows that uh, you're able, by being yourself, create a, a tribe of people that are loving you, that you're able to set goals uh, uh, that uh, you're like, oh, I don't know if I can do this, but somehow making it happen. I'm about to do it. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> I'll do it anyway. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So, Lenka, uh, if people want to know more about uh, how they can, uh, they can learn more about... Uh, Mm-hmm. Uh, this new way of selling, if they can know more about working with you, uh, where they can find you? Sure. Well, depends when this goes, this interview will go live, but I'm going to run in a couple of weeks uh, a challenge um, that is around creating and selling 10K plus offerings that your ideal clients will love. So I'm going to do, it's going to be a four days where we'll break down each of these aspects of energetic selling method and go to much more depth so you know those that take the challenge can uh, apply it uh so i think perhaps we can drop a link uh Absolutely. for that would that help yes and other than that you know you can find me on facebook i've got this group uh, freaking amazing women so i'm very active there uh, that i share a lot of stuff um and yes well Perfect. So make sure to join the challenge. And uh, uh, will there be a recording? So if someone cannot attend the challenge live, can you? Absolutely, yes. If it's it's later, they can surely, you know, I'll turn uh, on demand so they can take it, you know, sign up. So you can join the challenge at any time. The link is Mm -hmm. in the show notes. So make sure that you click the link in the show notes. Join her Facebook group. Of course, if you are a a woman, Uh, (laughs) I don't don't think that men... Uh, We can uh, sleep in men. Yeah, yeah, we can sleep. Uh, if, it, if, you, if you want to be yeah. there we do, have, we do have men they're not as active but we do have uh, men in a group <laughs> okay so if you're a man and you want to be in the freaking amazing women group and make sure that <laughs> you, <laughs> you join there because I've been fighting I, I was asking with my wife is I call this women's group and I cannot be in there because I feel like I'm a man and then I don't want to become like the stalker it's like someone said who's the man doing in this group and I felt <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so make sure that you join the group and also sign up for the challenge thank you very much uh, Lenk has been a, an absolute pleasure having this interview I had a great time thank you so much Simon thank you everyone fantastic and uh, thank you very much for listening or watching if you're watching thank you for watching if you're listening thank you for listening make sure that uh, you hit that subscribe button right now I know it's calling you it's there it's juicy it's sexy so touch that subscribe button right now and also leave us a five-star review. Uh, If you like the work that we do, it will mean a lot to us because uh, it will mean that uh, we can, uh, more people will be able to see the work that we do, we'll be able to hear these amazing people like Lenka that we have on our show. 
and also see you next episode make sure that you keep in touch for next episode and remember that together we grow exponentially see you next time ciao ciao